this video is about becoming a master in human design and gate 16. So gate 16 is the gate of skill and enthusiasm. And if you have this gate defined, essentially, you have a way of expressing yourself and speaking about the things that you have mastered in a way that awakens deep excitement in other people. So I actually have this gate defined, <laughs> which is why I, you know, I have my YouTube channel and I talk about human design because this is something that I have mastered, so to speak, and it's part of my energetic maintenance to talk about it. So. If you are new here, hello, my name is Ebony. I am a human design reader, expert, and coach. So let's jump deeper into gate 16. The shadow of gate 16 is indifference. And the baseline of the shadow is a lack of expressing yourself. And it's either from a fear of others not agreeing with you, or it's a fear of how other people are going to perceive you. Now, I fall into this a lot. <laughs> Because especially with human design, there's a lot of people who, you know, don't like the way that certain people teach human design. Um, and I happen to have learned from many teachers who traditionalists in human design kind of don't like. Like the way that I have learned human design, the people that I have learned from are not the traditionalist people within human design, right? So even, you know, making short videos like this on the gates or talking about you know deeper aspects of human design I always get a little bit nervous because I'm like you know what if someone comes onto my video and it's like oh you're doing this all wrong blah blah, blah. it's a risk every time you know because we all have our own opinions we all have our own interpretations and um it's always a fear you know being completely transparent I'm scared <laughs> right but I do not let that fear keep me from expressing myself, I do not let that fear keep me from continuing to study, continuing to learn, and continuing to guide and to teach. So yeah, essentially, if you have seen any videos on my channel, then you have seen this gate in action, right? So that fear of, not the fear, the shadow of indifference is really you not expressing yourself, you not talking about the things that you have mastered and the things that you have enjoyed and your skills, right? It's keeping those things inside out of some kind of fear, right? So the gift of this gate is versatility. And this essentially comes down to experimenting, right? It's it's honing your skills, it's honing those, those, those zones of geniuses, honing whatever it is that you're good at, right? Whatever it is that you're excited about, that you're, that you're passionate about, whatever skill that is, taking time to experiment, taking time to learn, taking time to study, right? And then talking about those things, right? Expressing yourself around those things and about those things in a way, in whatever way feels best for you, right? For me, it's my YouTube channel. It's it's my TikTok videos. It's sometimes it's Instagram. I don't know. Me and Instagram are kind of like, you know, but <laughs> whatever that looks like for you. Some people have podcasts, you know? Um, there's there's different ways that you can go about expressing yourself, but it all kind of comes down to this idea of you master it, you learn, you study, you grow, and then you express it in some way. And this allows you to become a master. This, this take, it leads you down this path of mastery which is actually the highest expression of this gate, right? The highest expression of this gate is mastery because you have taken the time to really understand something. You've taken the time to dissect it. You've taken the time to really understand it and apply it, right? And then you have decided, okay, I know this. I understand this, I can now talk about this. I can I can teach this to other people or I can just, even if you're not teaching, right? Even if you're just expressing yourself and it's expressing how it's helped you or expressing, you know, why you love it, right? Even if you're just talking about the thing, you're not necessarily teaching it, you are still using the power of this gate. You are still developing mastery because mastery doesn't always come from just honing the skills. Right? That's the gift of this gate. It's the ability to hone that skill. But the mastery comes from not only being able to awaken something in other people when you're talking about it, 
But as you're talking about it, as you're expressing it, as you're teaching it, you deepen your own mastery. You, you, you um, ignite that excitement that you have for it, even as you're talking about it. Like for me, with human design, every video that I make, every time I make some kind of connection, whenever I you know, get on here and I'm talking about whatever, I uncover new pieces of the system that I want to incorporate, new pieces of the system that I want to learn more about. And it's led me down this entire path that I never would have even thought about going down when I first started. Because as I, as I hone this area, as I express myself through this system, not only am I awakening something in the people that are listening to me, but I'm deepening my own excitement. I'm finding new things that I want to explore. And as I begin to explore those new things and bring it into my, you know, my current process for experimentation, it just allows me to get more and more and more masterful <laughs> in whatever it is that I'm doing. So a while back, I started saying that, you know, I'm a human design reader, expert, and coach. And that's this gate is really what allowed me to kind of start doing that. It does... This is the gate of mastery. It's the gate of, of the authority, of the expert, right? That is, that, that's, that's what I do, that's who I am. And you know, maybe I'm not an expert yet. I personally, you know, some people might not see me as an expert, but I, I think I've gotten to a point in the system where I know what the hell I'm talking about, you know? <laughs> so, but kind of rambling a little bit, but that is gate 16. Um, I know this gate very, very well. So <laughs> if you have this gate, and you're wondering like, oh, what do I do? This is, it's, it's, this, this is it, yeah. So if you have not seen my gate series, I will link the playlist up for you to find and I will see you in the next video.